Salutations and hallucinations, those team defenders are back again with vaping with Uncle Jojo. Tonight you're here to play with my newest toy, the 13 Heavens 9 Hells RDA. This is from Comp Vape Design USA. This is an authentic. Bought this from RBA Vapor Store, right there. Now this thing came out as a total of, yeah, you can go look that up for yourself. She wasn't exactly cheap, but I figured, hey, what the heck, a friend of mine talked me into it, swore up and down, you gotta have it, and on an impulse buy, I bought it. That's what happens when you're single, though, since I don't have a, I don't have a lady to spend my money on at the moment, at the moment. That means I have disposable income to spend on toys for Uncle Jojo. Now, once I get a lady friend again, that'll dry up a bit, because I'd rather spend time and money on her, but... Since I don't have a her, I get to buy toys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sucker. It's already been through ISO. It's actually already been well used today. A buddy of mine uh, by the name of Ryan McLeod, who has a, nice, a neat little company called McTwisted Coils, sent me a nice little package of twisted different types of coils today. I don't like building coils. Uh, twisted Canthal is about all I'm going to mess with. I just It's just not my cup of tea. I don't enjoy doing it. It's a pain in the butt to me. But he loves it, and he makes great coils. So y'all need to look him up. It's Ryan McLeod. It's Mc, uh, McTwisted Coils. He makes some great, great coils. Good prices, too. And you pretty much name it, and my dog can pretty much twist it up for you. All right, we're going we're gonna to head to the workbench, pop this puppy open, be back in a flash. And we're back. Now we're going to take a look at this bad boy and take her out of the box. Man, it's a very nice box. Looks like a Christmas gift. Kind of like, kind of feels like Christmas when you get something like this in the mail. Set this over here to the side, and here we have the Thirteen Heavens and Nine Hells RDA. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and say, I've used this thing quite a bit today. I've done a couple of different coils in there and played with it, and I will tell you this: the build quality on this thing is beautiful the threads are all very nicely deburred everything's well polished it goes together just as smooth as butter it's absolutely beautiful now here's what you get you're going to get the rda itself now this is a sleeve this is what allows you to control airflow you turn that as you wish with this you will also get an extra sleeve to that is uh, copper also has a laser engraved logo very beautiful I love that thing it's absolutely gorgeous they also throw in this now this piece here screws in and this is the replacement if you want to use a chuff tip there's your chuff and there's your little screw in piece to replace this now the reason it's made like this is so you can use a chuff or reach in here you get an extra standard 510 drip tip just a standard every day with a Delrin adapter on it now you could pop that puppy in and use your own drip tip or the one that comes with it up to you so you get a lot of goodies with this it's not just open up a box there's your rda and a little baggie you actually get a pretty good mother's load of yums with this thing now we flip it up there's your little bag of goodies we can tell we've got some more uh, O-rings. There's a couple of more insulators to replace. Any ones that you need to replace. There's some more screws. You got basically two sets of screws there. So we're good to go on goodies. Very generous. Again, the machining quality on this thing is absolutely superb. Now we go to the bottom. There it is, comp vape. There's my serial 0855. That is adjustable. It does screw out. It is stainless steel. Now this piece here unscrews. You can also, as I said, replace it with that one. Let's take a look at this puppy first. Can you, let me put, I'll tell you what, let's put her back on here. Take a look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. That thing is ginormous. That, my friends, is a stove pipe. I'm going to pop the copper out. There's your chuff. Look at that. And yeah, that's more draw than the chuff. Considerably more. And there's your standard 510. That way you set up pretty much the draw you want. Again, very, very generous with their parts. 
very generous and of course as I said you can that's separate so hey put your own chuff in there if you've got another one that you like this one of course is one piece very well polished stainless steel machining is top notch not very often I get to say that so I really like saying it threads are all nice and smooth I mean this thing is very very well machined this is not some knackered down junk like you get from some sites this is nice good solid craftsmanship there's that black ring with the air holes and of course if you look here and get my camera to focus here a little bit ah, 13 heavens nine hells that's from the Aztec calendar I believe they said that piece of course pops off there's two o-rings you got four more in the bag so if you booger them up hey you got replacements sit this down again nice solid stainless steel man the machining on this thing I'm just so used to seeing some of the cheaper stuff that I wind up with sometimes and I'm like oh man I love seeing nice shiny parts that are well machined or deburred threads are nice and polished out I mean I just I just love it you have no idea first off let's look at the holes yeah you can fit some fat wire through there that looks like I believe that's a full three millimeter it's just absolutely ginormous uh, first con of the day flat hitch screws I would prefer Phillips but hey they're better than Allen's I don't like Allen's at all and that's a very very minor con it's almost negligible I can easily live with it now of course you know you do have your 510 that is adjustable it does screw out now look at the enormous amount of of juice you can put in this bad boy let me move my billboard here borrow one of my ultra steel screwdrivers <laughs> yeah yeah they're all cheapos but for what I use them for they're perfect what I'm gonna do is basically do this boop that's how far that puppy goes I mean <laughs> folks I mean really that thing goes all the way to here basically it's absolutely enormous and if you look at this is a T so it goes all the way through here both sides this thing is absolutely that's, that's a literally a juice lake I thought the mutation XV2 had a juice lake no it has a pond this is a full-on lake that's what a lake looks like all right what we're gonna be putting in there is my buddy Ryan McLeod of Big Twisted Coils has whipped me up some 24 gauge spiral coils spaced sleeper coils we're going to be dropping the i'm going to drop two of them in there i do believe if i remember correctly these are going to hit me up at about approximately two ohms in that exact neighborhood and we're going to fire this puppy up wicker up and we're going to get down to business of blowing some clouds up out of here and, and i will be back with you in just a momento and we are back now for the next Again, minor con. I love this not being able to find anything really major bad to say. If you want to adjust your air, you're going to have to unscrew this, then turn this. So you're pretty much going to have to have it set. Now what this means is this whole piece here will now revolve. And you can basically put your air hole and adjust it around your coils to adjust airflow that way. But as far as actually adjusting the amount of airflow, you have to unscrew the cap. That's not really so much as a con. It's just passing on a little extra information. Some people might find that a con, some might, have, might be a plus, some, like me, might not care. Just a little extra info for you to make your informed decision. Now, of course, I got mine all the way open. Line them up with the coils. As previously stated, she is going to be running, that's 24-gauge spiral coils in the sleeper configuration made by my buddy Ryan McLeod down at McTwisted Coils out in California. He, uh, he's got a wife and kids and he's trying to make some extra money when you got kids son you got to put them first and that means you got to put some extra money out there don't leave him much to do anything with as far as vaping a little side money help support his family and maybe buy him a little toy every now and then so help the man out he, he's, a, he's good he's good people he's seriously good people now we got her up on top of course my Segele 150 with that beautiful J wrap that they made for me we're running 100 watts and of course this damn thing jumping around she's saying point one but she's actually uh roughly point two Segele's for some reason there every once in a while they get a little squirrely on them ohm readings
Yeah. She chucks. Have no doubt about it. She chucks some serious freaking flavor, people. This is... I actually like this thing better than I do my Mutation XV4. The, v, the version 4 with the bottom flow is amazing. But <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, all, this thing here is just an absolute... Beast. And of course, we got that Milo cake version too. It's Dr. Creamy's milkshake. It's got uh, cheesecake and 2x marshmallow with a flavor shot. It is some more delicious. Basically, it's a marshmallow cheesecake. <laughs> yep. Folks. I've gone through this thing, and I can only find those basically two minor cons. Flathead screws, and you can't adjust this on the fly. <laughs> Machining is superb. I mean, literally. I mean, this thing is beautifully polished, laser engraving. Everything is nice, well put together. Everything screws together with ease, buttery, silky smooth threads. This is how American Engineering made its name. High quality, solidly made. Good solid thicknesses. Everything is solidly and well put together. Can't really find anything wrong with the machine work anywhere. Out of all the pieces, they're all great. I love that. I love being able to say that. That just, I, I, I really do. Because I, you know, I'm going to point it out if it's wrong, folks. That's called being a man of integrity. You say what you mean, you mean what you say. Or as Jesus said, let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Which can be translated translated as, say what you mean and mean what you say. Be honest and have integrity. You're only as good as your word. Treat others with respect and be honest. <clears throat> so... Final thoughts. I was kind of leery about spending this kind of money, but Ryan up there at uh, McTwisted kept on about it, told me, man, you're going to love that thing, man. You, you know, oh, yeah, you're going to love that thing, blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay. Since I'm single again, I had a little disposable income. I said, I'm going to go ahead and buy this bad puppy and see, just see. If I don't like it, I'm going to call Ryan a few names. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to tell you what, I, I am... I'm very impressed, and that's I, I'm not an easy man to impress, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like talking trash about other people's product that they've made. I will point out any flaws, and as you will notice, I will say, you know, this is a con to me, because, I, you know, just because I don't like it doesn't mean you will. Just love it when somebody says, well, this juice tastes like crap, and you happen to like it. They're basically saying you like crap. That's why you feel offended. Yet, think about what you're going to say. Consider these things. And I try to give them as considerations because my opinion is no more valid than yours just because I'm sitting in front of a camera doesn't make me smarter, better, or more well and be really well, well informed, yes, because I actually have the damn thing in my hand. But it doesn't mean my opinion's any more valid than yours. Something that is a plus to me is a might be a minus to you. And again, your opinion is just as valid as mine. And I'm here to tell you, this thing makes fantastic flavor, but the clouds, now I will, I will say this, I like the version, my uh, Mutation X V4, a little bit better on flavor, it does have the bottom feed off the coils, so you're getting that, that does help flavor. One thing of course is I'm using this stove pipe, which is going to mute your flavor a bit with that much air going through there, but I'm here to tell you, this thing here, with the chuff, gets down a little bit more flavor, and if you want some intense hot vape, Stick that 510 on there. I couldn't handle it. I don't like hot vapes. <laughs> it set me to coughing. But it was friggin' nice of them to give you the options. And of course, you don't even have to pull this off in order to fill it back up. You decided when you put some more in there, just hold it up. Squirt it in there. You're done. <laughs> Loving it. So it is, is it worth the price of admission? Yes. 
Um, I know a lot of you are going to wait until Infinite or Sigreen, Efro, one of these, come out with a clone. I don't blame you. It's a bit of money to be sinking into an RDA when somebody's going to come out with one in a couple of months for about for half the price. I understand. Hey, money's tight. you got to be very, very frugal with that dollar these days, especially when it's worth less and less every day, and it's harder and harder to get. But for those of you who want an authentic, the 13 Heavens and 9 Hells RDA, I'm going to tell you all right now, this RDA is a, this is a, this is a killer. You can head over to RBA Vapor Store and pick this puppy up. I will put the links down there to that, of course, as I always do. I'm also going to put a link down there to McTwisted Coils, my buddy Ryan. Hook up with him and uh, grab some coils from him. Comparable prices for some great stuff, and he's a good man. He ain't going to screw you over. If he does, kick his butt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not going to do it. He's a good man. He's good people. He's a hardworking man. Got kids to support. Family man, brother. Good man. Whew. But heck to the yick. Y'all definitely need to go ahead and grab you one of these. This is one hell of a solid made RDA. I guarantee you this. On those clones... The machine work is not going to be this good, I guarantee you that. Now, whether that's going to be worth the price of admission for you is up to you, but I can virtually guarantee you I've had Infinite and Efro, Sigrine, I've had their clones. They're good quality stuff, but that's it. They're just good. This is great, and you pay a little extra for great, and you're helping out an American company. So, hey, we're good to go, folks. I'm out of here. Y'all have yourselves a wonderful night. It's Friday night. I'm about to head. I'm probably going to head up out of here. Uncle JoJo. Is going to prowl. Big Daddy Smooth Love is single again. It's time to go out and meet some and meet and greet some of them now, honeys. So if you're a single honey and you're looking for a good man that's going to treat you right, and I'm talking about ain't going to raise a hand to you, who's going to build you up and not put you down, come talk to Big Daddy Smooth Love. Because I tell you what, baby, 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 we will make it up we won't, but it's up to us. Now, y'all have yourselves a great night. I'm out of here. Got things to do, people to see, and all that happy, happy. About to put me some more clothes on. Get gone from up in here. It's early. It ain't even 7 o'clock yet. Y'all heard me. You picking up what I'm putting down. And as always, the good Lord ain't in your life the way you think he needs to be. Give it to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And they will hook you up. And, and you can read all about it in this thing called the Holy Bible. So until next time, folks, remember this. Much love and peas and cornbread, baby. <laughs>